Now to make our site work we need to install plugins. Plugins extend our functionality and we'll also add the membership software that we need on here. Now the membership plugin came with this package. You also need to download some others and there's some download links in the resources document. So just download the, all of those into one folder. So I've done that. We have Easy PayPal 3.2 Fix, which is the one that came with this package, and then you have links to download all these other ones. So what we want to do now is you want to unzip all of these and have their folders resident on here as well. So go ahead and do that. Okay, so now I've unzipped all of these and we have their folders on here. So the next step is to open up FileZilla again. Then we want to find the plugins on our computer, and then we want to get the server side over here. Over here, we want to go to our demo. And then from there, we want to go to WP Content. Next, we want to go into Plugins. And here's where we're going to upload things. So what we, we want, want to, to do inside of each of these, because there's a directory inside here, which is the one we want to upload. So click on that one, and then click Upload or just click Add to Queue. And then Easy PayPal, same thing. You need to actually go in two levels inside that one to find the Easy PayPal directory. And you can click Add to Queue. Email users. Right click, Add to Queue. Google Sitemap Generator. Right click, Add to Queue. And WP Users Online, right click, Add to Queue. Now, if you just go up here and click on the little queue up here, if they're not uploading, just click on that, and you'll see that things start to transfer up there for us. Okay, so everything is now uploaded since our queue is empty. Now we can go back to WordPress. Now if we go into plugins, you'll see that all of our plugins now appear here. Now what we have to do is activate them and then we have to set them up. So let's activate these one by one. You notice that it turns a light green color once they're activated. Okay, hello Dolly, you're not going to activate. And we're not going to activate the online widgets for WP Use Online. So we should have activated all-in-one SEO pack, easy PayPal, email users, Google XML sitemap, WP Users Online, and that's it. Okay, so now it's time to go and start setting them up and configure them. So let's start with the all-in-one SEO pack go to settings you'll see that some of our plugins are along the top here. So let's go to all-in-one SEO. This allows you to set up your page so that it's search engine optimized. It allows you to set different parameters for your home page, as well as give it some extended description, which WordPress doesn't offer, and give it some keywords for the home page. It also search engine optimizes things down here for you on its own and you can change the way you want. For instance, you have your post title followed by your blog title with a pipe in the middle. So you can change any of these that you want as well. Now a lot of these you don't really need to even bother with because it's already preset for you. You can use your categories for meta keywords if you want by clicking this. Okay, so let's just go to the top here. And what I would do is I would give it a description and keywords, and that is all I would do to set up my WordPress site. The rest of it I would leave as it is because it's pretty much pre-configured for us. Okay, so I would have my description and then keywords that make sense for my page. Other than that, I pretty much leave this alone. You can set other things in here if you want, but that's all I ever do. So just click update. Now let's go and look at the users online. There's not really anything you have to do in here either. Although you can change some of the parameters if you want.
but I always leave these alone. There's several things you can set here, and these are the parameters you can but use. If we just have a look at it, go to just, the dashboard. You can see that WP Users Online is right here, and it just says one member is online now, which happens to be me, the admin. It's also but showing. right on the dashboard, down here, okay? So that's what it does for you. Basically, it allows you to see which search engines and people are on your site as guests or as members at any time. This is an optional thing. You don't have to install that if you don't want. Now let's go back to settings. Now let's go to the XML sitemap. Okay, so what we need to do here is we need to give it a customized location. And you'll see down at the, near the bottom here, location of your sitemap. Now what we need to do is we need to put it in a writable directory or the thing's not going to work. Now one way we could do it is to make our main directory demo with permission 777, but that puts our blog at risk. So what we want to do is we want to create another directory below it. So let's go back to our file manager and then let's go this is back in our plugins directory, so let's back up here. And then this is where our blog's installed inside demo. So let's create one now. And I'm just going to call it sitemap, but you might want to call it something else so that it's a little bit secret. But just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to call it sitemap, and I'm going to create it. You can also do this with FileZilla. Okay, so let's find our sitemap directory, and I'll click on it. Then we'll change the permissions to 777. And to do that, all we have to do is click on all the boxes inside here. Okay, so all nine boxes are checked, and you can see it says 777 and change. Okay, right. now let's go and right before sitemap.xml, right after demo, put a slash and sitemap, or whatever you named your directory. So now we have demo slash sitemap slash sitemap.xml. need to do the same thing here. So demo slash sitemap slash sitemap.xml. Now make sure that you click custom location or this isn't going to work. Okay, and then you can, down here you can tell it what you want included in there and how often you want things to be changed. I always change the post to daily and then anything else alone and then I update the options. Okay back to our control panel because there's one more thing we need to do. We need to go into our sitemap folder. We need to create two files. We need to create a file called sitemap.xml and sitemap.xml.gz. So we just create, click on create a new file like we did here and then over on the right side here we can type the file name in here like so and we'll create. So there's our first file then we need to create another file called sitemap.xml.gz like we see here and click create and then we have to change the permissions. So we'll just click on them. And then we'll change the permissions. We'll change the permissions to 777 by clicking all the boxes. Click on the other file. Change the permissions again to 777. Now, if you're not using a cPanel, you need to create the files. You can create them using Notepad and just save them to your computer and upload them using FileZilla. Just open Notepad and then save an empty file as sitemap.xml and create another file called sitemap.xml.gz and save it as an empty file. Then upload them with FileZilla and change file permissions that way. Okay, now let's go back and rebuild our sitemap. So we'll click here. Okay, so our sitemap's been built for us and everything's ready. We're going to go have a look at our files. 
distance. And then we can just click on that one inside. And you'll see that it's built the site map for what's in our site so far. So this automatically pings for Google with the site map. Okay, one more thing to set up before we go and start setting up our membership site in the next video. We'll go to email users. Not really anything you have to change in here. You got the format that you're going to send them in. Here you have your blind carbon copy limit. Here's a default notification here. You can change that if you want. Here we have the message that we have above there, just showing you here. And down here you have the different variables that you can use and your capabilities. What we can do here, if we go into, it's, it's in write, we can write an email to all of our users from right inside of our blog. We have a list of recipients down here if we had any on here yet, but you can click the ones you want to send to and then you can hold the control key down and click all the ones you want to send to. Your subject here and your message down here. There you go. Send it out. So that's as simple as that. This way you can communicate with the members of your site right from within the site. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do on the next video is we're going to start setting up the membership side of our site.